15 bags of chips, a Taiwanese lace chip. Look at it, just smell it, just smell it. Look at that, okay. Put a little pepper mala on it. We'll see how good they are from a scale one to 10 and we'll taste test them. Some of them, I'm, I'm pretty sure they will be really good. I love chips. Who doesn't like chips? Next. What up YouTube chat? Everybody say hi to YouTube right now, guys. Guys, we're making a YouTube video. All right, so we have like, of course we got like the normal flavor. A goo, 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 gouda, gouda cheese, a cheddar cheese, some Korean fried chicken flavor. You see that? Korean. Steak flavor. Right here, steak. If you don't want your gains, it's steak. Beef stew potato flavor chips. I guess this is like very similar to beef noodle soup. Seafood flavor. Deep ridged bar barbecue wings. Uh, we got some baby back ribs right here. Yeah, yeah. Yakitori. Yakitori lays. Bar fried chicken. Not Korean fried chicken. Fried chicken. And to top it all off, we got some Kyushu seaweed lays. <sighs> all right. Look at this. The original. Lays. Very, very normal. Look at that. Very. The lead. Come on. I'm not gonna give an opinion actually how good it is. So this is saying the normal lays flavor, the baseline rating is a six. Only a six, okay? Not lower than a six. Not it's a 5.9, okay? Wait, what? It feels like it's a lot more dry and the American ones are a bit more moist. I have no idea, there's something wrong like with um, Asian chips. Ow, I don't know. So, okay, you know what, since we got the fried chicken one, we'll do the fried chicken one first and we'll try seaweed and we'll do yakitori and we'll move down, okay? Okay, Ooh, that doesn't work out, all right. It does look like ruffles. It has a little vinegar smell to it. Look at it. Just look at it, smell it. Here, take a look at this. It's covered in seaweed, okay? Look at that. You see a little seaweed crisp on it and everything? You see that? Most rigidy ones are pretty, it seems like it's, ooh, this is burnt. It's burnt, right? So, look at this knife curvature. Wow. I don't know, I feel like it's a scam. They're saying that it's, it's fried chicken is a scam, okay? I would pick the Lay's over this one. So if that, if by that choice, I'd probably give this one a five out of 10. It has like this umami taste to it, a sweet umami taste to it. I love seaweed, I love the taste of seaweed. And just have, it just tastes like the sea, full of men in my mouth. 8 out of 10. This is good, 8 out of 10. I would eat this whole bag right now. It just it just hit the spot and it's pretty freaking good. So, and it's hitting my... God damn it. Hit. Yes, it's not hitting... It's not hitting my prostate, okay? It hits the spot, 10 out of 10. There's a lot of flavor in it. And you know what? I don't think you'll ever find this type of flavor in America. Not even with the barbecue flavor in America. The barbecue flavor in America, the Lay's, is just sweet to you. It's the sweet barbecue sauce, literally poured all, it's just like barbecue sauce poured all over. There's no smoky flavor, whatever, it's just sweet. But I feel like something with Asians, in the Asian Eastern countries, they just like, they just flavor the chips like very uniquely. It's, it's interesting. All right, dude, these are just like so nice. It's like, All right, let's try seafood. No, let's, let's get a beautiful looking one, dude. Hey, hey, it looks it looks very similar. It looks it looks less like that one, the uh, the seaweed one, but the but the texture of the, the lace looks a bit more like the normal one. Okay, and right here, Korean fried chicken. Da -na 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 -na. I think it's it's okay if if I do that because I'm Asian. But, dude, yeah, nobody, don't do that, guys. Oh, this is the beef noodle, the beef stew flavored one, or beef noodle, beef stew, beef flute. I don't know, maybe it's it's not like a Taiwanese one, it's more like the French beef stew.
It's unique. The flavor is very different. It's unique. I, it, I, I think you can definitely taste the seafood flavor. It definitely tastes like mussels, like clams or shrimp. I don't honestly think this tastes like green fried chicken. This tastes like something from um, when you, it's, it's like, have you ever guys, have you guys ever been to China? If you have, and then when you finish drinking in the middle of the night, those, there's little stands in the middle of the night where they sell like skewers, like barbecue skewers. Is it my favorite? It's beef stew, it's beef stew, not beef noodle soup. In terms of like the flavor, I do like it a lot. In terms of uniqueness, I give it a six, but in terms of like the overall, man, I give it maybe a 5.5. 5.5, maybe 5. 8.5. 8.5 out of 10. It's 8.5. I couldn't stop eating it. 9 out of 10. That's a 9 out of 10. Wait, right, come more, come more, come more. Oh, one more. Oh, no. No, fuck, fuck, fuck. No. That one? I'm sorry, that was, that was peg fat. Yeah, that was a pretty peg fat move. We got a few more left. We got, we got the fried chicken wing, which is rigid. We got the, the gratin, which is like cheese flavor. Um, and steak, and, and pork ribs. Okay, go on to pork ribs. Wait, wait, oh shit, I almost turned on, I, I just turned on my stove. Wait, hold up, hold up. Hold up, I got a phone call right now. Hello? Yeah. Wait, what's that? What's that? You you want to use your Twitch Prime and subscribe to Peak TV on Twitch? Yeah, how do you do that? Okay, it's very easy. So, if you have an Amazon account and you have Prime, you can connect that with your Twitch account. And once you connect that, you uh, basically go on the bottom of my page, and at the very bottom, it says um, subscribe to PQ TV, and you click it, it's for free. So you can subscribe to PQ TV for free. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, just don't forget to like, comment, and sub to my uh, YouTube page, and just uh, watch the whole video. Yeah. Oh yeah, no problem, anytime, dude. Dude, no, t no problem, no problem. Hey, thanks for calling me. Yeah, yeah, Hey, you take care. Thanks so much, bye-bye. like cheese dude I'll tell you that that definitely smells like cheese it just when I just opened it it smells like I went into the cheese shop and I smelled cheese I don't I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but at least that's authentic right it has that sour cream flavor but it has also a cheesy zest to it but I feel like I'm not a guy that likes very cheesy things unless it's on pizza or macaroni and cheese right but I feel like this is a little bit too overpowering for me according to the cheese how much cheese they use. Um, if you like the garlic sour cream plus a very cheesy like zest to it, then I guess you definitely will love this. Oh man, I'll give it a five. Honestly, I give it five. I can't, I can't, I can't eat more than like three of these. Okay, the initial taste is like, the initial taste of this does not taste anything similar to a steak. Okay. It builds up. It goes in, and you got the steaky, you got the steaky meaty taste to it, and you're like, "Wow, what is this flavor, dude?" I don't think it's an eight, though. I really don't think. I think the meat taste in the end is actually really good. Fire, I, I think it's more of a. I'll give it a good seven. A good seven, maybe seven point three. Well, okay, seven point three. Nah, it's a, it's about a six point nine. Okay. Are you guys just waiting for a 6.9 review? Are you guys literally just sitting here? Alright, which one? We got two more left. We got, we got a ridge. We got two ridges. One. Okay, Kona and... Uh, I think this is my, my la. My la chicken wings. Cook Kona or my la. Pick one, team. Pick one, chat. I think only Americans can get barbecue ribs done correctly. Everywhere I've gone in the world, that travel, there's like these places like Texas Barbecue. Memphis barbecue, yeehaw, brother. You know, something like that. All these barbecue places just suck, dude. It's actually really sad. 
Alright, so, hopefully, so this is their interpretation of, uh, I guess, American barbecue pork. This is our, like, uh, our mala, Cajun, uh, hot wings, uh, spicy chicken wings, uh, rigid, rigid, uh, lays. It's actually really thick. I actually use, I typically like this type of, these type of, um, chips. Look at this. I typically like these. It's a little thicker. It seems like, it's, look at this. This doesn't break, okay? Look at that, okay? This is the uh, the pork rib one, okay? Uh, Lay's, it's, it seems like it's a barbecue flavor in Taiwan. So let's try it. It has a, like I said, it's kind of bitter. It has a medicine smell to it, but. I don't know, man. It's just, it, they have the flavor. They have the flavor, but it's not quite there yet. It feels so artificial, you know? That was good. <laughs> okay, look, honestly, why did I not like this? Okay, I think Dutch people will like it. I really, I, I think Dutch people like this because it tastes like that candy that we had in the, the Netherlands, the black licorice candy. It just, it tastes like a flag of egg. Black star, the star of anise. It tastes like the black star of anise. You know how like when you cook it and you take a bite out, you're like, holy shit, that's bitter as f That's literally what it tastes like, licorice. Long black licorice, okay? It's actually not that enjoyable. It's good, but it's, when you're expecting this flavor, it's not that enjoyable. I think if you're hungry and you just like pop this in your mouth or like you're drunk at night and you just go like, mmm, mmm. Oh, this is so good, wow. Yeah, of course you like it. Oh, I was like, you know, I would say it's better than that one, the normal one. I would eat this. I, I don't think it's higher than a seven, but I don't think it's lower than 6.5, you know? So, I guess we can give it a 6.9. I think the best of all my favorites, this has to be the best one. I don't think it's not it's not my favorite, okay? It's not my favorite, but the best one of all of these chips that we got is this one, the beef stew one. This is the best. It's not my favorite, but sometimes you have, you can say it's the best one, but it's not your favorite, right? So it's like this, right here. Beef stew one. Man. The second one is this one. I know, of course, I don't think they nailed it. I don't think they exactly nailed the fr fried chicken, like I said, but it's, it's so good. This, this flavor is so good. I'm gonna be eating this after this, man. Man, okay. I like that. And then the, this one is like, it's just good, you know? I think... I'm like... The seaweed is not overpowering. It's, it's, it's... The umami flavor gets to you, it just makes you want to keep eating it. And I think... When you eat stuff... You... The whole point of eating, like, junk food is to have you keep eating, right? It's like, it's addicting, it's great! And I feel like this hits the spot of like... It's not too much, but not too little, but it's just right, and where you can just keep eating this and eating this for hours. And I honestly, I could probably just eat this bag if I, I wasn't streaming. Uh, one for one. Okay. Oh, I'll go like other way. Okay. One, two. These are the top three ones. Okay. These are just honestly. This is this this one is shit, dude. Honestly. Okay. This is like. This is bottom three. Okay. This is bottom three right here. These three are bottom three. So yeah, there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And you guys know what kind of chips to eat. Okay, hold up, hold up. Let me just take one more of this. Let me just take one more of this. Mmm, man.